hello view today i'm going to give you a glimpse on a very famous software based on a multi physics problem uh, the name as console uh, you if you wish to uh, go uh, uh, to install the software you have to go www.console.com and you can download uh, the different modules of this software when you click on this uh, you can see that it handles various modules and if you are working in the electrical domain you can see that this type of modules they can easily solve if you're working on the mechanical domain and this type of modules fluid domain chemical multipurpose and there are several live link interfaces are available so if you wish to uh, link your this software with your already uh, already running software you like matlab excel and SOLIDWORKS, Inventor, Revit, Katia and the several software you can easily handle. So I'll quickly go to this and uh, once you install all this, you can use this key. Uh, this is a uh, trial key, you can use this software. Like if I go to the magnifier, you can see that this is uh, your key. You can easily uh, note it down. Yes. So uh, using this key you can uh, install this and you can use the trial version. So I will go to this multi physics domain, uh, console multi physics 5.2a is the latest version which you uh, see there it's a very powerful tool even you can see that it's just like a graphic user interface you need not to write anything everything in this uh, console multi physics are written in the java syntax and you need not to be uh, even uh, known to any language if you are physic uh, if you know the physics of the problem you, it will you just give the inputs to the this uh, model and it will give you the output and you can even handle any type of problem which i have already been mentioned so this is the framework of the console the framework is very you know easy to visualize you can see that that actually every problems are deals with only this type of parameters so you have to use the same thing again and again even for all type of problems like definition you know geometry material if physics then meshing for the meshing that this console use finite element method and which is a very powerful method there are other software that are also available like abacus ansys even the fluid fluent software is available but if you are already working on that software you can try this so if you wish to start this uh, console multi physics and you don't have anything uh, with you don't worry go to the file and there is a several features are available here you go to the application library once you click on application library you can see that how rich is software is it will acoustic sound type uh, sound type problems they can handle battery fuel cell module cfd module chemical reaction crowyer electrical several modules you can see that they can handle independently and multi physics means that you can merge all the module as per your requirement like if i working if i think i should go for the heat transfer module there are several things they already been uh, given to this and several Families are there, several models are there, the best models they have chosen. You need not to be right anything. If you wish to change the modeling, as per like there is a new research is always been there. And these all the models are on the basic research and if you merge all of them, they will give you the new output. But if you wish to uh, start with like heat transfer module and wish to learn this, how you can this, no, don't worry, go to this application. So there is a several exam, free examples are available here. If you wish to check it, yes, go it and click on this. Like if I go for this type of problem, forced air with heat, air cooling with heat sink. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the type of problem and everything is mentioned here. So console by console in May 30 to 16 is the last modified. They are based on the physics interfaces, heat transfer, turbulence flow and this type of algebraic y plus they have already been used and if you wish to see the documentation you can click on this open pdf uh, they can give you that the documentation or even the research behind this
most important thing I am going to tell you that. So how you can start this? The geometry, the everything is written here. User interface you are already working. So firstly in the geometry, what you have to do, they are written everything here. If you wish to choose the here, here heat sink type, they are available here. Parameterization is available here. Building update geometry, meshes, compute, everything is available by step by step. You have to follow these steps in order to learn this. And once you used to this, you can solve any type of uh, cooling based problems using this. And the results, even you can know that post processing is there. So this documentation is uh, very rich, and uh, you need not to be uh, have any book. You just go and click on this. Okay, this is one thing. But if you wish to start this and wish to uh, learn about this, you have to click this and you have to run the application. You can see the launching application forced air cooling with heatsink. .mph is the extension of this uh, file and you can go and you can save it as your sample on this and if you can even uh, load whenever you want. Yeah, this is the actually the framework is now available. You can see that this type of model is already been there, which is documented earlier. You have seen it. And if you forgot to see it, just you can click it again. This thing is uh, is always available for you for your reference. You can see the model. It is available here, and it will explain you one one by one, and the outcome you everything they will explain you step by step and the results is also been there and you can even edit this as per your problem if your problem is same then okay yeah, otherwise you can edit this the model so this is uh, your geometry and you can see that this is all the uh, changes depth length health this is the dimensions everything is here and this is for the outer boundary and for the fin geometry like this is fins are there they have given this type of thickness and even the temperature is there now you can see that in the last there is available expected computation type because this model is already been solved by the console and you can see that for this uh, you need this less than 4 gb memory and expected computation 10 minute I mean, if you run this it will take almost 10 minutes to give the output so if you if your computation is very high so this thing is very interesting you can check out this and you can just uh, click on this and you can send your uh, you write your email address and once your the computation is finished by the console and it will give you the email just you go and check it this is the interesting things with the this handling of this software so I'll go through this that uh, there is option is available here update geometry you can change this geometry with your problem you can uh, change the fin size you can change the structure of this geometry and recalculate this the meshes is the meshing because they are using the fine download method obviously triangulation uh, method the download algorithm we have basically been used and uh, rest you will learn slowly and you will click on this so if i wish to see the meshes i have to click on this it will take a time so i have to wait because the computation my machine is not very good. If your machine is sufficiently uh, uh, fast, then your computation will be fast. So I am working on my laptop, so it may take a time. And because the problem is a little bit big. Yeah, you can see that uh, this, uh, once you click on this mesh, it will give you this type of meshes. And you know, this, the density of the meshes is very high uh, near this. Like if you click on this, and you can even zoom it to see the all type of meshes so this meshes even you can rotate this to see that this type of algorithm they actually the console is using it's a purely finite element and the triangular elements they have used and you can set it again to the actual domain this is uh, your actual and even this axis is basically the important you are doing in which x-axis so this is your x-axis and xyz coordinate is there and i already told you that it will take the almost 10 minutes 
uh, to compute all the temperature and the velocity fields so when you click on this it will uh, take uh, approximately 10 minutes and you can see that here the computational is actually going go on solving linear equation so you can see that the expected time is 10 minutes but actually it take 39 minutes uh, the reason being uh, my computer have limited uh, processing speed uh, it's only uh, i3 and uh, if you are using working on this you, sh you should be working on some workstation but now I see all the temperature field at yeah, this type of output you can see here this is for the 60 degree up to and this is for 25 degree you can see that the temperature is very high near this area after the fins and for the uh, velocity field you can see that this type of output is now uh, you can see on the results and if you wish to uh, check everywhere you can see that this type of low fields you generally see so this is the output of the results and if you wish to take the snapshot you can click on this like for temperature if you want click on this and your image you will, will can be shifted to this and even you can save this now you can see that yeah, this is your snapshot and uh, you can save it anywhere to see the this and you save this all data field here save as and you can save it for your future references there are several type of MPHs here this is the already standard I am working on this this is the application MPH and if you wish to edit the update like update geometry click on this you can update this all the geometry according to this and then uh, you will change your results so this is all about uh, your uh, reference for the console in the next video i will give you more brief and more particular examples so till then uh, goodbye and have a nice day so please subscribe to watch the more videos